Good evening! My name is Yellow and Giru, and this is Inanimate Public Radio. Inanimate and Sandy has recently begun their third season, and we're quick to get right into action with our new series, Exit Interviews! In this series, we'll be speaking to the eliminated contestants of each new episode of Inanimate and Sandy Invitational. I'm sure you're all wondering who our very first candidate will be. Well, spoiler alert, he's very blue, he's very berry, and boy does that about sum it up, welcome Blueberry! How are you today? I feel sad. I feel better now, though, that I'm on this island. It's so dark, quiet, and gloomy. I feel right at home. Love what you've done with the place. First question, how does it feel being the first one out of the show, and what would you have done with the prize money if you managed to win? I was completely blindsided. Everybody was against me, even Box. And that guy has no personality. With the price money, I probably would have played it smart and invested it, only to lose it all. Clever. Go big or go home, right? And even though you went home. But, uh, now, if you had to choose someone to come with you on Indefinite Island, who would you choose? Hmm, that's a tough one. I would choose Box. He doesn't speak much. We can just sit here in silence. And also, he's the ringleader of everybody else. He's making all the decisions. Like me, he was in control of everything. You could have fooled me. Among what did happen, what was your favorite thing about competing in Anatomy and Sandy Invitational? Between paint exploding all over me, being punched for miles, and sitting around aimlessly. It's a three-way tie. Must have been a blast, flying all the way here after your defeat. Speaking of which, why do you think blue is the color of defeat? Blue is my color. That's why it's the color of defeat. If it wasn't blue, it would just be another gross color. It's a shame, but objectively true. So Blueberry, why throw the challenge? It's so weird that you keep calling this a competition, when in reality, I did all the work. Even Candle couldn't match up to holding a candle on my victory. Meh, I give up. You've said that you've done all this work, but for some reason the camera didn't seem to catch any of it. So, Blueberry, please tell us, what did you actually do? I helped morale. I was a cheerleader. I helped everybody be their best. Everybody was so depressed before I came. And in the end, they just couldn't see that. And neither could any of the viewers at home, but we here love you anyway. Did you like anyone on your team? Like, I didn't like anyone. I didn't even like myself. I respected Box the most, but liking people is a whole different story. Not that annoying balloon. He just floated. He floated through the challenge. And then Life Ring couldn't even make it down. It doesn't make any sense why they're still in the game, and I'm here now. And Tea Kettle, does she even make tea? Probably, but I'm always optimistic. And why are you so pessimistic, huh, Bluey? What's got you down, sad clown? Pessimistic? I disagree vehemently. I am the most optimistic person on this island. Couldn't find a more cheerful blueberry out there. If you looked in the bushes, you might find a raspberry. And those guys are so annoyingly pessimistic, you have no idea what you're in for. So, if you're so full of love, what do you enjoy doing outside of the competition? Anything? Baking. Oh wow, that, that's incredible! Maybe Mifone can hire you back for some catering. Is there anyone outside of your team you think would be not so bad to see again? On the other teams, there were a couple of not so bad ones out there. Like paintbrush, brush was yellow, the color of happiness. Goo was pretty bad, but at least he told it as it is. I didn't mind Test Tube. She was really, really nerdy, but I was such a jock that I think I would have beaten her in the merge. But until then, we would have made a great team. So nerdy, but people respect that, you know? Oh yeah, sort of like 8-Ball. You two wouldn't happen to be related, would you? Who is 8-Ball? I'd... It'd take a while to explain, so I'll just skip ahead because I just need to know. You seem awfully quiet, but do you like talking to others? No, I enjoy silence. That's why Box was my favorite, because I am way too good at conversation. I decided I'd be better off without it. If, if I was ever in a conversation, I would win. 
Sorry to break your no-talk streak. Maybe a cookie will make it better. Do you like Oreos or a classic chocolate chip or... I really like raisin. They're kind of like blueberries, except wrinkled. Insightful. I won't try to run your genius dry, so just one more question. What is your biggest takeaway from your experience competing in an Adam and Sandy Invitational? Yeah, my biggest takeaway is that I played too hard. I played too hard and everybody got sick of it and they voted me off. I made the choice to stay because I really need to work on some things. And if I do that, I really think I have a shot at winning in the next game. If there is a next game. Probably not. Guess this conversation turned me into a pessimist. Uh oh. I hope you had as much of a transformative experience as I had, Blueberry. Have a nice day! Oh, you have a nice day too. I'm just gonna sit here and wait till I sleep. Enjoy the sunshine outside of this island. And that's all for today! Thank you patrons for supplying the questions for today's episode. Thank you Blueberry for being just the silliest ball of sunshine this side of Indefinite Island. And thank you all for tuning in. This is Yellow and Gear with IPR signing off. I need to take a long break and have fun at this island while I'm here. You can find enjoyment where you want to find enjoyment. Everybody is pessimistic. Except for me. I'm the most optimistic one here. Have a bad day.